Okay, so I have my finished beanie here, and now we're going to add the ear flaps. I like my ear flaps to be a little bit toward the front versus in the back. So I want my ear flaps to end at about right here, and I'm left-handed, so I'd have to go backwards. So if I wanted to end about right here or right here, probably here, so I have to count 10 back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This would be the stitch that I want to start at right here. And I've gone ahead and did a slip stitch, a slip knot, with a longer bit of a tail, and I'll show you the reason why. Because I like to chain in the tail as well as the yarn on that first stitch because it just gives it a little bit of added stability. So then just go ahead and pull on your tail and pull that down and chain two. So bring that in a little bit better for you. And now we're going to do ten double crochets across and this one is considered our first one. So this would be two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. You can see the little bump up there. And we're going to do ten double crochets across again, working in that next stitch. So that would be considered one. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to go right into that chain two spot and do our double crochet and we're going to chain two and turn and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so in this row we're going to be doing our decreases. So we are going to do a regular double crochet in our next stitch and then we're going to do a decrease. So do a decrease, you go in like you're going to do a double crochet, you pull up and you have three on your hook and yarn over, you're going to pull through two and hold. Yarn over, go to the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, you have four, go through two, yarn over, and pull through three. That is a de decrease. And then we're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. And then we're going to do a decrease here. So three, pull through two, hold, go to the next one. We have four, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And then do our double crochet into that chain two. And then chain two and turn. We'll go on to our next row. Okay, going on to our fourth row, we're going to double crochet into that next stitch. And we're going to do a decrease here. Pick up just the first two stitches and then we're going to double crochet and then we're going to do a decrease here and then do a double crochet into that chain two space chain two and turn okay so here's what we have so far and we're going to go on to our fifth round so we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. And they're going to do a decrease in the next two stitches. And then do a double crochet. And then do a double crochet into that chain two spot. Chain two and turn. And then we're just going to do a double crochet across. To finish off, this will be our last row.
and chain one and pull up and give yourself a tail. Oh, I got a knot right there. I'll get that out in a minute. And we're going to pull that through. And cinch that down. And then we're going to lay our beanie back down. And then do the exact same on the opposite side. So go ahead and complete your second ear flap. And then I will show you at the end of that. Okay, so here is the beanie with the ear flaps on it. So that is completed. Okay, so here is our beanie with our completed ear flaps. It's looking really, really good. So now we are going to go with our darker pink. Let's see that. Um, and we're going to do a single crochet stitch all the way around the edging to give it a nice little edge. So here's the back of our beanie, and I'm going to start a little bit to the left of that because so we don't want it to be adding on too much to this, and then I want to be able to crochet over this tail. So go ahead and do a double crochet, or excuse me, a single crochet um, around the edge of your beanie, and in the corners right here, right there, in the corners you're going to want to do two single crochets in the corners and then um, on the inside corners on the outside corners you're going to want to do three because it will just help it to turn and lay nice and flat so go ahead and do that and I will meet two when I'm done with mine okay here's our beanie with the edging on it and it turned out really really nice and so we're going to continue with our next step in making our beanie 